In the hidden depths of the ocean, strange creatures live in a world of perpetual darkness. They exist in an area as remote to us as the dark side of the moon. These hidden habitats harbor a new frontier of information for scientists, one that we are only beginning to explore. The ocean we know best is in the upper 200 feet of water. Dappled in life-giving sunlight, this area supports the basis for the whole ocean's food web. The vast majority of fish and invertebrates live in this area. Extensive study has revealed many interesting organisms in the upper ocean, and its inhabitants continue to amaze us. What lies beneath this layer is a far greater repository of unsolved mysteries. Until recently, these hidden habitats were protected by their remoteness, but technological advancements have quickly changed this. There is now a pressing need to understand and protect these deep water resources. National Marine Sanctuary scientists are assessing these areas to determine how this might be done. Uh, to descend deeper into the ocean, we need special equipment designed to withstand enormous pressures. Scientists use small submarines and remotely operated vehicles, known as ROVs, to plumb these depths. As we descend through the light zone, we move into the twilight zone, where only small amounts of sunlight penetrate, the colors fade, and darkness consumes the light. On our way into the depths, we encounter this large six-gilled shark. Uh, the stuff under the water is the most exciting to me because we're looking at habitats that haven't had a look before, uh, perhaps elsewhere, but, but not in this place. The tops of seamounts reach up from the seafloor so tall they rival anything on land. Also, seamounts tend to be places where the land comes up toward the surface but in water that is totally deep water, bathypelagic they call it, the depths here, 1,854 meters. That's more than a mile deep. So it's an area that people just don't frequent. We're in a place that's quite unique that way. In the deep ocean, species have to adapt to different challenges for survival. The cold water and absence of light slows growth and productivity. Animals have evolved to find food, mates, and elude predators in absolute darkness. Creatures like this bamboo coral have adjusted beautifully to these extreme conditions. Access to these remote locations allows scientists to study rare species, like this halosaur, in their natural habitat. Halo meaning saline or salty, sore meaning lizard. No halosaurs have ever been reported in the California cut. We've seen one. It's so amazing. neat. It's amazing. The pilots fly the ROV into a forest of giant deep sea corals called Gorgonians. These coral colonies, made up of millions of individuals, can grow up to eight feet tall. As we push past the corals into the black abyss, we have a chance encounter with a mollusk that is new to science. This mollusk, discovered by the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, has only been observed a few times. This sea toad, a type of anglerfish, is the only live specimen ever encountered. The snailfish is a fairly common deep water bottom dwelling fish. Its skin, lacking protective scales, is naked and jelly-like. This large gramophone-looking object is actually a sponge. Scientists have only begun to scratch the surface in terms of understanding these depths. As they continue to plumb the deepest parts of the oceans, 
The secrets hidden here will be discovered slowly, but will no doubt reveal captivating creatures and fascinating information. <laughs>